and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing an unboxing today of a wallet that I've been waiting for for a really long time. Actually, that's a lie. The shipping of the wallet was very quick, but me finding the wallet and deciding on the wallet, that took a long time. I've been looking for so long to replace the little black wallet. You guys know the one. It's in all my what's in my bag videos because I think black wallets are so boring. So. I have been on the hunt and when I saw this wallet online, I thought, you know what? I need this in my life. I really need it in my life. But this is the wallet that I bought. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Naomi, that's not a wallet, that is a phone case. Yes, technically it is called a phone case in Chanel. However, it's got card pockets at the back and it's also got this zippy pocket so you can put your money and your coins in, which I really, really like. And it's bigger than my current one, which at first I didn't like at all because I thought, oh no, I don't want to go bigger. I wanted it to be the same size. But you know what? I'm going to give it a whirl. I obviously, I know we have all done this, but I looked at the measurements. I thought, yeah, yeah, that looks right. That looks like the right size. It wasn't. I think it's 18 centimeters long and I thought that that was what my other one was um, but I think my other one's 11 or something I don't know but um, I will show you this is my old one and this is the new one it's quite a bit bigger and I'm sure I'm gonna stuff the hell out of it but it's sort of got the same similar amount of pockets but I have quite a few coins in here which I really need to get rid of and you know what? I'm up for a change. So I just hope that I don't have too many issues when I transition into smaller bags. I might have to pull out my card holders again to use them, but I just couldn't pass up this finish, guys. This finish is gorgeous. It's like a rainbow iridescent finish. It's got so many colors in it. It's a pearly finish as well. Beautiful, simple CC. You're supposed to be able to just put your phone in there. And yes, mine does fit. Do I ever put a phone in a wallet? I don't know, maybe I'll have more use for it, but I'm pretty much gonna be using this as my wallet, I've decided. The leather is so soft as well. When I'm touching it, it's just so luxurious and soft. I absolutely love it. I was actually looking for a bag in this finish because I just think it's so special. It reminds me of my unicorn bag, but this is more like mermaid type of thing. I would call this a mermaid finish. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know also how I'm gonna go with it being light because I know that lighter leathers can mark really easily. I used to have a, like an ivory, like a beigey ivory colored Gucci wallet and that got so dirty. It was ridiculous. Like it was filthy. It ended up being so dirty that I just didn't want to wear it anymore. We'll see. I've been a lot better with my wallets and lighter colored bags and stuff like that recently. So in probably in the past, maybe six years, I've been a lot better. So all my light bags, they don't have any marks on them. They're really beautifully maintained and looked after. So not really much else to say. There is a gold zipper and a beige zipper, like an actual, like a, oh, is it white? It's more of an ivory colored zipper. And then there's gold teeth and the gold metal. And it, there's also the leather pull in the same fabric. This is just so soft. When I went into Chanel, they actually didn't have this and I had to, I had a look at some other ones and I, they only had one in black and it was in the Chanel 19 kind of style. And I think they had one in this as well in the silver. They did not have a lot of these wallets at all. Um, I really wanted to have a look at them, but I sort of couldn't. Something I am bummed about is that there's no extra card holder compartments inside. I think that really would have finished this really well, but I guess it's supposed to be a phone holder. It's not supposed to be a wallet, but I really wish it was a wallet because this is the type of wallets I like. I like them thin like this, you know, flat. 
I don't like them too bulky. I don't like when they accordion out. I find that they're way too bulky and heavy and I just end up putting so much crap in it and it ends up being so heavy. It's got the quilting up here and down here and also on this side. I would love to get a matching card holder for this. You know, the little, the little card holders that are like that big. I would love to get one and put it inside. I'll be frank with you guys. One, two, three, four, five card holder slots, even if I double them, is not enough for me, girlfriend. I need more than this. I absolutely hate it. I don't carry all my cards with me, but I absolutely hate it when I'm out and about and I need a certain card and I don't have it. Ugh, that grates on my nerves. So I like to carry as much as I can without it being too heavy. I was also looking at the wallet on chain of this. There was a bigger version that I thought was absolutely beautiful. There was no top handle though, and you guys know how I feel about top handles. I tend to get very deterred from a bag when it doesn't have a top handle these days because that's how I like carrying my bags. I like carrying them with the top handle. So when they don't have a top handle, I'm like, oh, I'm going to hate that after three months. Unless it's like a really small crossbody or something. You know, I've got the little white pearl bag. This pearl bag, I actually wore this last week and I went out to dinner and that doesn't have a top handle, but I created one using the strap. I just wrapped the strap around the flap and I did it three times. Actually, I did one side once and the other side once and it turned out to be three straps in, on top and it was the perfect top handle. I think I'm going to be wearing like that all the time. I don't know why no one's ever done a hack for it. If you want me to do a what's in my bag of this bag, let me know and I will be more than happy to. Absolutely adore that bag. That's one of my new favorite bags. And I actually like wearing that casually, believe it or not. It looks great as an evening bag, but who would have thought a bag like that would work so well with jeans? Who would have thought? Looks amazing. Okay, the softness of this does worry me a little bit because I think it's going to wear a lot quicker than some of the other leathers. You know that lambskin leather of Chanel is so delicate. You have to be so careful. The other thing I will also tell you is inside, it is a beautiful pink lining. I think that works really, really well because this leather kind of shines in a sort of like an aqua pink. It's a very, very strange fabric, but I absolutely love it. I actually was hoping that, and I think there is a version of this, a Chanel 19 come out like this. I've seen one that's very similar. I've seen two types. I've seen a white pearly, and then I've seen like a rainbow pearl. And yeah, I'm not sure how close it is to matching this, but anyway, if I ever see it, guys, I'm gonna snap it up. I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna snap it up. So there is the Chanel Made in France logo just on the inside, which is gorgeous. Really, really simple. There's really nothing else inside. You know, you could even use this as a little makeup kit, little makeup pouch, if you wanted to carry a couple of lipsticks and, you know, a compact. You definitely do that. I like to carry a few little uh, perfume samples as well, just in case I leave the house and I've forgotten to spray. I usually like to... Um, have something like that. So this would make a really great little pouch. So if I can't use it as a wallet, if it's not quite functional, I could definitely use it as a little makeup pouch. I mean, to me, this size is a really perfect size. I would have preferred it a little bit smaller, as mentioned, this size. But I mean, look what I've done to this one. I've kind of bulged it out, right? I've bulged it out. So yeah. I'm gonna put all this stuff in here and see. I have been dying to wear this, guys, and I haven't worn it because I wanted to do this video for you guys. I like showing products when they're brand new, just come out of the box, that sort of thing. Sometimes I'll use it for a day, but most of the time I like to keep it fresh for you guys so you guys can see exactly what it looks like when I actually got it in. The metal is like a gold, a champagne gold. That's what the CC logo is there. And with the gold zipper. Nothing more I really need to say about this. I am gonna do the ultimate test. I'm gonna grab my phone, I'm gonna see if it fits. Now, I do have a case on this, which is kind of, 
it's a little bit grippy because it's like a matte case but look at that i do have a smaller phone i've got the 12 mini I decided on the mini because I could use one hand to type and view pages and, and shop online, which I do a lot of. So I kind of feel like this is the perfect size for me. I thought I'd get it in a beautiful bright yellow. You guys know yellow is my fave color, but that fits beautifully at the back. You could also get a bigger phone. My mother has got the X, I believe. And she just bought one of these wallets and hers fit in the top. Okay, I have popped all my cards that I use regularly there. There's a couple that I don't use regularly, so I've kept them out. And then this is going to be the test because I need to put money. What I never liked about this wallet was that I had to fold my notes. I hate folding my notes, guys. I don't want to fold my notes. This is a $10 note, guys, for you guys in the US. We have very colorful money here in Australia. I don't know if you guys are aware, but this is a five. It's pink and purple, has the queen on it. To be honest, I don't even know who these people are that are on this money. $20 note is red. So, you know, here, show you guys. Colourful. But the good thing about our money is that it's really small. As you can sort of see it's going to fit inside without folding. Oh, this is my dream. I've got multiple notes. I've got to keep my $10 notes because I give my little boy $10 pocket money every week. So I like to keep a $10 note so that I can always give him money without asking for change because... Mum's got to be organised, right? So I absolutely love that I can put my money flat. So good. I have so many coins. Oh my goodness. This is why I need to do something with these coins. I need to convert. So normally I would not keep my phone in here this is i guess if i was going to the shops and i was just taking this i'm not one of those people i know a lot of you guys are i see people do it all the time when they're just they're at the shops and all they have is a wallet i can't do that i what about all the other stuff that i need what about my lip balm what about my hand sanitizer what about a hair tie if it's super hot and i need to put my hair up there are all these things so i can't go to the shops with just a wallet but if i were if i were one of those people i could do that because my phone fits in there and then I'll just have to carry my keys on another hand. But normally, really, I would, it would be like this. Super cute. I am obsessed. I can't wait to wear this. I think it's going to be gorgeous. There you go, guys. What do you think of my little Chanel phone case, wallet, phone case, wallet, phone case. I call it a wallet. They call it a phone case. Um, I'm using it as a wallet. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to see how this leather wears. It is super soft and I just love touching it. I don't know what it is. It's the type of leather that you just want to feel and rub and touch. Follow me on Instagram for more information and to keep up to date with all my videos. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now. My love, my love.